One thing I have seen is this, this morning. So we can quickly talk about it. Master Duel will release the, uh, the tier limit cards in four days. I think. Yeah, four days, 10th of April, get ready, uh, get it twisted. And they have decided to preemptively hit the Ishizu card. That is not something that's very unusual. That is very, very normal for, for Master Duel. And I think it's a good thing, honestly. I think it's a good thing that in general they do this, right? They hit cards um, before they release. Simply because... It would make, I think it would make Master Duel very, very stale, very, very quickly. If they always, if we always had pretty much the same format as we had when these cards first released, but like five months later or six months later, right? I, um, I have said this before. <laughs> Zephyrl, thank you for the bits. I've said this before, I'm not a fan of the fact that Master Duel releases the cards later than the TCG and the OCG. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of cards being new releases, but we've seen them like six months ago. That being said, if they are going to do it that way, if they are going to do it that way, then at least I think, I think it's better to hit them preemptively with the... Um, with the knowledge that these cards are going to be super, super dominant and preemptively hitting them a little bit, just, just for the sake of making it feel a little bit different in terms of deck building and how the games actually play out. Because with one Pearl or Rhino, for example, with one Pearl or Rhino, for example, the mirror matches or in general playing against tier limits will, will feel different than it has ever felt in the TCG. Because in the TCG, Pearl or Rhino was at three, one terraforming on top, we had four copies of Pearl Rhino, meaning that like over half of the games where you played against tier limits, they had Pearl Rhino, right? Roughly half the games where you played against tier limits, they had Pearl Rhino, which, which changes the outcome of a lot of games significantly. That card is incredibly powerful. So the fact that now with only one Pearl Rhino, you will not stare down a Pearl Rhino every second game will make it feel different. Uh, and I think that's good. Also, I mean, two Havnus, two Sharon, two Murley is a hit that will definitely not stop Tierlement from being the absolute best deck. Like, I mean, look, one Kid Kalos does not matter. One Kid Kalos does not matter. One Pearl or Rhino absolutely matters. Two Havnus, two Sharon, two Murley does also matter with your milling consistently, but uh, consistency, but still, Tierlements with the Ishizu cards that we already have now in Master Duel are absolutely going to be the best deck nothing is nothing is going to be close we don't even have bestials yet unless they put bestials into the same set which i don't know might happen but that's not something i know um they're not in the set okay if we don't have bestials then there's not even like counterplay really to ishizu tier uh which you're gonna say like oh but ishizu tier also used the bestials but that was like other decks needed the Bistials way more to combat tier limits. Like, you just played Bistials because they were that good in the mirror match. But other decks were basically Bistial control last form. Like, before the TCG ban list hits, it was pretty much just you play tier or you play Bistial control with some other engine. Like, if you played a sprite deck, that was basically just the Bistial turbo. Um, also, we have Curious and Snow. Good points in chat right now. We have Curious and Snow. So overall, I really don't see how I really don't see how any deck will compete with Ishizu tier at the at the release. So yeah. Kinda crazy. Kinda crazy. Grass is at two. We have grass, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't think grass will be the preferred version for this. Uh because this is now I think this is now very similar to the to the OCG. Uh, where, you know, we have oh, oh, one Pearl or Rhino, one Kid Kalos, and then small hits to the tier names. That, I think that's, that reminds me a lot of what they did in the OCG at first. And they never really played grass in it. I mean, some people did, 
but I I don't think you I I think in general with two grass going 60 cards is honestly mostly just something you do for fun in uh in in master duel like the I don't like the math behind playing a 60 card deck when there's only two grass in your deck like you're not going to really the payoff for playing 60 is not big enough when you only have two grass and then a lot of the time your opponent is also just going to have an ash for your grass like it, this would only make sense. Playing grass decks only makes sense if you have three grass, I think. Like, uh, mathematically, two grass and 60, it's just not worth the, uh, the risk, uh, in my opinion. Because if you go all the way up to 60, all of your mills are going to be worse uh, just for your two grasses to be, like, insane. And you're not going to draw that that often. Tell that to the OCG. I, you don't have that. that like, why would, why would you say that? The OCG pretty much never played grass in tier limits. Like, the most popular version of Ishizu tier ne did not play grass. Can you show a sample deck? I have not worked on an Ishizu tier deck with, this, with these ratios, but I'm, I'm going to be honest, you can just go, you can just go to, like, the TCG deck lists or the OCG deck lists and just adjust the ratios. I, I don't think it will change very drastically from those ratios. You're going to play a maximum tier limit package, pretty much. You're going to play a maximum Ishizu package and then a couple of tech cards for the mirror match that are not Bist deals because we don't have them, right? You're going to play Maxi, Called By. Uh, I don't know. Maybe people are going to start playing Didi Crow because of tier limits be be before we get the Bist deals. Like maybe like Bell, maybe Bell for the Shufflers, maybe uh, Crow, stuff like that. That's going to be the meta, I think. That's going to be the meta. Do we also get Rule Kalos? Do we get rule colors or not? We get rule colors. Okay, so there is like Darkwing Blast stuff in there. Okay. That's insane. Otherwise, I would have said you could maybe do something with Nibiru. You could maybe do something with, the, with Nibiru, but if, there, if, there, if there's rule colors, then no. Um, but yeah, I mean... Once again, I'm going to be I'm going to be on vacation when this drops in Master Duel. Sadly, actually, I would have loved to experiment with this on the first day, but I guess we're just going to be like a week late with some tier limit experimentation in Master Duel, but we don't get sprint. Oh, that makes a difference, but I don't think it makes the biggest difference. I like Crow better than Meister. I think Crow is better than Meister, yeah. Unless your deck loses to the Ishizu shufflers. How many diviners? Uh, depends. Uh, I guess with only two Merly, you can afford another normal summon. Uh, maybe you play some amount of diviners. 